fun and games, and why shouldn't it be? But we only get room to run around because mom makes it so. We start things off with patches, named after, well, you guessed it, that unique patch of dark fur around her eye. You'd never know it, but she's just endured probably the most painful ordeal you can imagine. Childbirth. On the ground right there, that's little Larry, her firstborn. His time in the sun has just begun. And oh look, Larry's twin sister, Flora. What was one has now become three. From the moment they're born, their bond is unbreakable. Patches has a unique call specially for her babies. As long as she's within earshot, they know she's just a call away. Moms also make great sacrifices for kids. Anna here is a wonderful example of that. For the past month, she's gone without food and she's gone without water to watch over her babies who are now just beginning to hatch. One down, plenty to go. Another thing she goes without? Sleep. From the time those eggs begin to hatch, Anna's had pretty much no time for Z's. Yeah, rough, right? Mom's out there. Can you relate? And she's also lost a ton of weight. But to make sure those little ones grow up to be big, strong, and most importantly, safe, well, there's nothing the best moms wouldn't give up for their kids. Speaking of kids, Sheila here's got nine mouths to feed. Whoa, my lordy. That's a lot of milk. Aw, oh, but just look at those little cutie pies. She'd do anything for them. And as many of us know, a mother's love is often found in the meals she makes. And Sheila's no different. The first meal her piglets eat is full of antibodies to prevent against disease. Her milk's loaded with nutrients, and boy will they need them. These guys are only a few hours old, each of them weighing in at roughly a pound. They've got just enough fat reserves for a single day, so they really need to treat that first meal like it's everything, because it kind of is. Like any good mom, when the kids come for supper, everyone has a seat at the table and everyone leaves with a full belly. Moms come in all forms. Take Molly here. When she was born, she couldn't have been closer to her mom, Mabel. They did everything together, for a week. See, sadly, due to complications, Mabel passed away, right when Molly's tale was just beginning. Scared and alone, this little calf had no guide. She had no best friend. She had no one, really, just the farmer. See her trying to sneak a sip of milk from the other mom? Nah, they ain't having it. That's for their kids, and their kids only. What's a poor little orphan girl to do? Enter Mabel's cousin, Aunt Florence, AKA Super Foster Mom. Molly, go on, get your milk on. Big Aunt Flo has you covered, child. This beautiful act of a mother cow allowing a baby of another to drink from her teeth is kind of a rarity. A true selfless act of nature if there ever was one. We all enter this world brand new. And when we're little, all we want is to have fun and be fed and be nuzzled. There's not much to it. But when you zoom out and get a glimpse of what it takes for us to lead that type of healthy existence, it's our moms who play a huge role in setting it up. So it's important that today, and really every day, we remember to say thanks. Now go call your mothers. I want to see the animal planet with animal moms inside animal? the TV, you know? Inside the TV? Huh. Animal okay. planet hmm. have animal moms. I see. I see him. Okay, so what do you think our topic for today? Hmm. From the video, from the video you watch. So what do you think our topic for today? Uh, how do animals protect their babies?
Very good. Yes. So uh, that is our topic for today. How animals protect their babies. How animals protect, animal protect, 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 animal protect their babies and also how animals protect their eggs for those uh, animals that laying eggs. Okay. Uh, Speaking of animal that laying eggs, can you give me an example? Example of uh, animal that laying eggs. Okay, dog. Then? Mm. Eagle. Eagle. Fish. 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 Yes. Okay. Frog. Okay. Uh -huh. ah, a frog. We divide animals that lay eggs into two categories. Laying many eggs and few eggs. Okay, tell me which animal laying many eggs? Frog. 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 What else? Frog. Fish. Fish. Uh, yes, and fish. Fish. And, okay. Ah, uh, what else? Yeah. Banyak lagi. Banyak ya. Yeah. Uh, animal that laying many eggs. Turtle. Turtle. Yes. Okay, I give example. Chicken. 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 Chicken not laying many eggs. Chicken few eggs. Oh, fish, fish. Ah, fish, yes. Okay, so fish. Fish, crocodile, or alligator. Ah, crocodile. Fish, crocodile, um, uh, grasshopper, turtle. Uh, this animal, they are uh, frog. Frog, frog. Animal, frog. Frog, frog. Mini eggs, yes. Okay, how about uh, animals that lay few eggs? Uh, 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 chicken. 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 Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Bird. 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 Eagle. 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 That's all the animals have the giving birth. Oh, ah, yeah. birds. Okay. Birds with the giving birth. Yes, I see. All right. So for those animals that laying many eggs, how they protect their eggs? They sit on them. They sit on the egg. They sit on. on no, the not for no. animal. They sit on the egg to not lay many eggs. Oh. Ah, uh, 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 they hide the eggs or they hide the eggs because they lay they lay many many eggs so they need to uh hide their eggs okay so the, that uh the, the other animal cannot see yes they the need to hide from uh their enemies okay let us watch this video another video how how oh, actually they protect their eggs and also their young. So prepare with your textbook as well. An amazing animal parents. Discover a new crispy wafer with milky and cocoa creamy filling. Kinder Happy Nibbo. I'm checking for you. Max Clean 2-in-1 detergent and softener. Menanggalkan kotoran degil dan bakteria. Max Clean. Ten yellow-headed jawfish. We're nominating the yellow-headed jawfish dad to be dad of the year. Yellow-headed jawfish are found in the Caribbean and can usually only be spotted with their head and upper bodies peeking out of their burrows. They are very territorial and don't often stray too far from home. Once the eggs are laid, the father will cram them all in his mouth and occasionally rotate them to keep them hydrated and clean. It is his job to protect his eggs until they are hatched. Once the eggs find Finally do hatch, the dad will spend time feeding, since he wasn't able to eat while looking after the eggs. As soon as they hatch, the babies are on their own and swim away. Talk about a thankless job. 9. Polar Bears Polar bear moms have a unique way of giving birth. After getting pregnant, female polar bears begin a non-stop feast because they need to double their body weight in order to have enough milk to feed their young through the winter. As summer turns to fall, the polar bear moms begin to make her den. Once 
completed, she begins to hibernate and often gives birth to her young while she is sleeping. When the cubs are born, they weigh about 2 pounds each, but they will continue to nurse through the winter, and by the time the spring comes, they can weigh up to 30 pounds each. Once they leave the den, they will play for a couple of weeks to get used to their new surroundings. Then they will head to the sea ice, where the mother will hunt seals to try to regain some of the weight she lost over the winter. Over the next few years, the mother will keep close watch over her young, protecting them from predators like male polar bears, and teach them how to hunt so they can survive on their own. 8. Orangutans Orangutans are another species in which the mother alone raises her child. Orangutans habit the rainforests of Sumatra and Borneo. They only have a child once every nine years, and there's a reason for that. Orangutan mothers look after their child for the first eight years, longer than any other single parent animal. And because they spend so much time with their child, the bond between them is exceptionally strong. There is much the mother needs to teach her child, like how to navigate the jungle, how to avoid danger, and where to find edible fruit to eat. Another skill that is passed down is nest building. Learning how to build a nest high up in the trees starts early, beginning at six months, and taking three to four years to develop. 7. Galapagos Sea Lion The sea lions of the Galapagos Islands have perfected their parenting technique. Groups of up to 30 females give birth on a secluded beach, which is continuously protected by a single male sea lion. All the mothers are part of his harem, and as such they help each other to raise their young. They do this by sharing the workload. Some watch over the nursery pool, which is sort of a sealed daycare, where moms can drop off their young to play with other kids while they look for food. Other moms take take older offspring to the shallow water to help them practice their hunting skills, often by chasing the marine iguanas found on the island. 6. Strawberry Poison Dart Frog Another dynamic parenting duo are the strawberry poison dart frogs. Measuring only the size of a fingernail, these diminutive frogs more than make up for their size. It begins when the female lays her eggs on the rainforest floor, while the males keep guard to protect the eggs from predators. In addition to that, the dad also has another very important job. He must urinate on the eggs every day to keep them moist. Yuck! Once the eggs hatch and the tadpoles are born, the mother frog must carry each tadpole to their own pool of water, because if they all stay together, they will cannibalize each other. Once the babies are separated, the mom then visits each one once a day to lay an unfertilized egg for them to eat. She does this for almost two months until the frogs are old enough to find their own food. Also during this time, the male frog continually keeps watch to make sure no predators gain access to his children. 5. Adelie Penguin The Adelie Penguins should be nominated for Parents of the Year. Both mom and dad go to extraordinary lengths to raise their young in the freezing Antarctic. It begins with the males who once a year make a 3,100 mile journey to the nesting area in order to prepare the nest for his companion. He must pile stones high up off the freezing ground to make sure the eggs don't freeze. When his mate finally arrives, they both take turns keeping the eggs warm because if an egg is left uncovered for more than five minutes, it will never hatch. Once the eggs do hatch, the parents take turns going fishing to feed their ravenous young. One parent will stay to protect the children while the other fishes and vice versa. 4. Caribbean Flamingo The Caribbean Flamingos, also known as the American Flamingos, have a unique way to raise their young. Unlike many mammals which depend solely on the mother for food, both Caribbean Flamingo parents are able to feed their young. They do this by producing a nutrient-rich red milk in a pouch near their throat. This milk is full of fat and and protein which allows their young to feed before their bills are ready for real food. Both parents are able to make this milk because they both produce a hormone called prolactin. And this unusual milk is what gives the babies their pink coloring. While the baby's coloring gets brighter because of this, it has the opposite effect on the parents. They begin to lose their color, turning pale and washed out as they care for their young. 3. Giant Pacific Octopus For the Giant Pacific Octopus, the largest octopus species in the world, caring for their babies fulfills their mission in life. And the Giant Pacific Octopus doesn't do anything small. When they lay their eggs, they do it 100,000 at a time. Once the eggs are laid, the mother octopus's sole focus is to make sure the eggs are clean and supplied with oxygen. The mother octopus stands constant guard looking after her eggs for the six months it takes them to hatch. She does 
does so to the detriment of herself, as she doesn't eat during this time and dies once the eggs hatch and she knows they are safe. 2. Weddell Seal It's hard being a single mom, even harder when you have to raise your kids in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Just ask the Weddell Seals. The Weddell Seals live in the Antarctic. A Weddell Seal's pregnancy lasts 11 months, and then she has two weeks to feed the baby before nudging them into the water. In order to get the baby ready for the ice-cold waters, the mom's milk contains up to 60% fat, enough to nourish the baby and help them develop the thick blubber they will need to swim in the freezing waters. And learning to swim is the easy part. She also has to teach her baby how to navigate both above and below the ice, how to locate holes in the ice to come up for air, and how to make holes in the ice with their teeth so they don't get trapped underneath. 1. African Elephant For African elephants, it really does take a village to raise a child, or in this case, a herd. African elephants roam in herds of females, led by a matriarch, the oldest of the females. These elephants only have babies every three to four years, primarily because their pregnancies last two years. Once the babies are born, the herd protects them from predators by circling around them and keeping them in the middle whenever danger is near. Sometimes elephant calves are stolen by rivals, and at those times, the full might of the herd is shown when they show up to claim their own. Which animal parent do you think is most amazing? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. What? The octopus has 100,000 eggs. There's eggs. Hey, I know that giant ah. pepity It's one for your extra it's knowledge. It's a big octopus, right? Just a giant squid in this 90,096. Mm -hmm. And you know, octopus, they lay 1,000 eggs, eh? Thousand, more than 1,000 eggs at once. 100,000? Right. Right. Teacher, teacher, octopus can walk in the land. Teacher? Yes. After the human cut the... Uh, tentacles, the tentacles are moving, just like lizards. Like a, yes, yeah. Okay, they, that's how they protect themselves from enemies. Okay, so for octopus, every time they lay their eggs, eh, octopus mother will protect all the eggs, eh, all the eggs until they fully hatch. And you know what happened after that? Uh, yeah. It's poisonous. Mother died. It's a teacher. Yeah, yeah, it's black eggs. Wait, wait, wait. I think somewhat you're gonna mute your microphone because as I see, if you keep you not mute your microphone, you will disturb teacher and also your friend. Alright, so what happened to the mother of Topper after their 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 age, okay, their age fully hatched, their mother will die. Because during that time, during that time, uh the mothers will uh not having any foods. Okay, I need for until the their eggs, so the eggs fully hatch. That's why after that, uh, the mother will die. Okay, so from your video you watched just now, it shows to you some animals. Okay, some animals they raise their their kids. Okay, they are sorry, kids. Plus, they are raise their eggs on um, their young single single mother. Okay, but some they can they. They use net. They use uh both both of the parents. They raise together. For example, orang utan, seal, polar bear. Ah, uh, they raise uh, their young single alone. Okay, but penguin they raise ah uh, penguin seal. Okay, they raise together with the male. All right. So let us look. Let us look at the textbook. Your textbook here. Mm, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, textbook page uh, 64. Okay, look at here. Yeah. All right. So this is animals that lay it. How they survive their species. Ensure their species not extinct. Okay. okay. Dear friends, I am ordered by the king of the jungle to make sure that all animals are to protect their eggs from any tricks. I would like to know about the ways you protect your eggs. Okay. Oh, yes, no fun. I frog tadi tu, kita tengok video tadi tu. Frog tu, dia poisonous kan? Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. 
Alright, so this crocodile, okay, this crocodile uh, eat, hide and incubate, uh, incubate their eggs to keep them warm. Okay, some animals also use this uh, kind of method, eh? for example, uh, this bird. Yeah, you got to sit on the sit on the eggs. So it's incubate actually. Okay, hide my eggs and incubate. But uh, this woodpecker uh, eat hide their eggs in nest or tree holes. Okay, so ah uh, right. So this one, uh, some crocodile and bird. Basically, crocodile and bird they hide crocodile, bird and chicken and duck. Okay, any bird species. They hide and incubate uh, their eggs. Alright, so for frog, frog, their eggs, they are a lot of eggs because they lay many eggs. So what they do, they uh, their eggs are covered by a mucus and that mucus smell bad. That's why it can um, make the enemy disattracted, lah. Not, not attracted, not attracted to the egg due to the smell. Okay, for grasshopper, eh? this one, grasshopper, they also lay many eggs. What they do, they hide their eggs in the soil. Same like uh, turtle and tortoise here, they lay, for tortoise, uh, they lay eggs in, ho in a hole and uh, their eggs are cover covered with soil. Oh, they dig, 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 dig. Uh, they dig, they, are, uh, they dig, um they are they dig hole using uh legs then all the legs are covered with soil okay so, so they want uh, a way lah to make sure uh their their eggs do not be found by enemies yes apa ni um turtle pun sama kan dia lay egg dalam hole sebab yes, dia yes. boleh duduk macam tempat pasir-pasir punya Ya, betul. Yes. Islandnya ada ocean tu. Uh, yes. Uh. Okay, so for cockroach, uh, cockroach hide their eggs in gaps found in the cupboards or any hidden place. Basically, that place, uh, it, they, um, you can find a cockroach egg in the dark place. Okay, water strider lay eggs on the surface of rocks or leaf uh, near river bank sorry near river banks uh we calm water bukan air yang apa mengalir laju tu dia air yang calm water kalau air yang mengalir laju so semua all the eggs can akan flush out lah Okay, that's how, that's a certain example eh, not all, but certain example animals that lay eggs, how they protect their eggs. Okay, let's look how animal ensure the survival of their young. So, how they protect their young. Okay, this one, mammals. Mammals such as rabbits, cats and goats care and suckle their young until they are able to find their own. Okay, we watch from the video. Goats, cow, okay, they care and suckle their young until uh, they are able to find their own food, okay. This one, ah, uh, crocodiles and tilapia fish, okay, protect their young by placing them in their mouth, okay, while moving and looking for food. Alright, chickens and monkeys will attack their enemies when their young are in danger. Besides caring of their young, animals such as birds and lions will also feed their young until uh, their young grow up and they are able to find their own food. Okay, then, uh, so basically when they, they was in bed, they was baby, so yeah, their mother will feed uh, will hide and incubate their eggs and they will feed their young until uh, they can survive by their own letter. So this is how animal protect their eggs and young to ensure the survival of their species. Okay, any question class? This is just a simple simple topic for today. Yes, yeah, saya tahu kenapa alligator kan ambil baby dia letak dalam mulut. Yes. Dia takut macam apa ni, pirana ke apa ke, dia boleh kejar dia sekejap lah. Supaya dia boleh letak mulut sebab dia boleh jagalah. 
Ya. Ha. Ha. Macam it looks like macam that kadang-kadang want to eat their young but actually it is their way how macam to protect nak makan their young. Dia, macam hmm. kan. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So now it's time to do exercise. Okay. Uh, take out your activity book, skill hebat book. Okay, skill hebat book page. Saya so, pergi sekarang. Okay, skill hebat book. Do, please complete page. Only one page je. 17. Simple je. Okay. Okay. Alright, so 9.20. 9.20 we discuss the exercise. Those without skill hebat book. Eh, semua ni kena satu kena uh, word word. Yang lain kena tick tick je. Yeah. Those without skill hebat book as usual go to see school. Uh, at activities eh. Baca the what? Those without activity book go to see school. Do you pitch what? Yes. Okay, take care, bye. Assalamualaikum. Sekejap lagi discuss. Saya keluar lagi. Sekejap 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 l